I was in the shower and something came to me and said that I needed to make this video. And it may not reach a lot of people, but if it reaches one person who needed it, it was so worth it to make. I was scrolling on my phone on TikTok and I saw this TikTok by a creator named Taylor Nardun. I hope I said his last name right. And he does a lot of motivational content. He says something that really hit me. He said, this is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. Now think about that. You're somewhere with God, having a great time. And God says, let's do a trust fall. And you stand up and you cross your arms and you get ready to fall back and you stop and you say, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know. Do you think God is not, if you cross your arms right now and trust fell and God was behind you, do you think he's not gonna catch you? Just think about that, how powerful is that? This is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. Oh my God, if I'm trust falling with anybody, I would 100% want it to be God because I know God's gonna catch me. So you're walking around in your everyday life. Do you think God is going to let you fall? So much of my thought process has changed because I used to be so stressed about like my future and my goals and everything. But I know at the end of the day, when the last chapter in my book is read, it ends in a success story. I already know that. So there's no reason for the journey in between to be stressful because I already know that I'm going like it's it was a win. It was a success. We did it for sure. Like, I know that for me. So anything that comes up along the way, I'm not tripping and you should not be either because you have, like, do you think if you were to trust fall into God's arms, he would drop you? My mom used to say, you have to trust God, trust Jesus like you trust the chair. And I really didn't understand for real what she was saying. And she kind of broke it down and she was like, when you see a chair there, you don't go, uh, I don't know who, who made this chair? Like, I don't, mm. yeah, no, I'm, that chair does, that's a wooden chair. I'm kind of used to, um, sitting in metal chairs. Like, I don't know, but you don't do that to the chair. You just sit in a chair. You literally, and if you fall through the chair, you're surprised. You're like, what the heck was that? And that's what she was saying. She was like, you need to trust God like you trust that chair. When you walk up to a chair, you do all you 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 sit your your happy butt down in the chair and you don't even think about it. And that's how you have to move with God. This is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. Or on TikTok, they have that um sound that's like, I don't chase, I attract. I don't agree with that. I understand what they're saying. But I absolutely think you need to chase. You chase your dreams. You chase them. You go after what you want. You go after it. Go after it. Don't force it. And I understand that's what they're getting at, not to force, they say don't chase, but I think you absolutely need to go chase your dreams. Don't force it. There's a difference. When you're forcing something, it's just, there's your you'll never get into flow there's no room for the energy to move if you're always trying to force it and there's there's no need to force it because you know at the end of the day the last chapter of your book the it was a success story so there's no need to force anything but you absolutely cannot sit down and just and what i'm trying to say is yes you let things happen and come to you but it's not, it, it will not come without the work. A lot of things, a lot of great things in my life that has happened to me came to me without me having to do anything, but not without me had putting in the work prior. I'm not sitting on my butt and I don't want you sitting on your butt 
hoping, wishing, praying that you absolutely, and if you don't hear nothing else, you hear this, you absolutely chase your dream. If it's something that you want to do, you go do it and you don't let nobody stop you. Detaching from the outcome, you put that work in and you allow the fruit of your labor to come. So there's like, there's no need to worry. There's no need for worry. Things are not gonna go great 100% of the time, but just as my grandmother would say, enjoy the ride. You put that work in, you do your absolute best. And what's the name of the man? Hold on. I was watching this other TikTok by this creator named Ken Novate. How society makes you feel like if you did not become number one, if society never gives you your flowers, that you were a failure. And he was speaking on Vincent Van Gogh. You know, the famous painter, he died broke. He ended his own life thinking he was a failure. The famous painter died broke and hopeless. He ended his life because he thought he was a failure because society failed to see the greatness that he was. But he was great. He was Vincent Van Gogh when he was born. And after he died, that's when his artwork got the recognition it deserved. He never got his flowers. Do not allow society to dictate if you are successful or not. I've learned that just being alive is enough. And I used to hear that and be like, no, it's not. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to do these things. And my self-worth was so low because I hadn't accomplished those things. But I've learned now that my journey, the, 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 the beauty is truly in the journey. And you cannot rely on society to give you your flowers. You have to make that decision. This is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. Oh my God. Do you know how comforting? Do you know how comforting that is? Just think about that. If I had to trust fall into anybody's arms, I'm picking God. I know God has going to catch me. I know God has my back. I know it. I know my story is a success. No matter what the journey entails, I know that. This is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. You have to know who you are and whose you are. This is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. Allow yourself to be. You absolutely chase your dreams. You don't worry about the outcome. You do your best and that is all that is required. That's it. You are great. You are successful. You are loved. And if you detach and just trust fall into God's arms, that is 10 times easier than worrying every day. It's like life is short and you're adding stress to your life. That's, that isn't, that's not a good situation to be in. Whenever you're going through it, just say back to yourself, this is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. Oh, that brings me so much comfort. I hope that brings you comfort like it brings me comfort. Think about that. This is it. This is the trust fall into God's arms. I know. I know without a shadow of doubt that God is going to catch me. I know it. God is within you. Do you know God is within you? Do you know that God lives within you? You are never apart. Society has you thinking God is just some man in the sky that you have to drop down to your knees and beg and hope and wish that your prayers will be answered. You don't have to do that. God lives inside you, always there. You are never apart. That guidance, that love, it's in you. 
And you have to know that. Know who you are and whose you are. You don't have to force. Know everything will not always be sunshine and rainbows, but know who's gonna be there to catch you. You know what a trust fall is? When you close your eyes and you let all your body weight fall back and you pray that the person behind you will not let you crack your head open on the ground. Do you think God gonna drop you? Do you think God is going to drop you? If you play by society's rules, it's a 50-50 chance. You may get recognized, you may not. You just set out to create the art that you wanna to create, to do the things that you wanna do, to build the life that you wanna build. You set out to do it and that's it. That's it. It's so easy. It's 10 times easier than worrying. Go towards the goal, 10 toes down, one foot in front of the other. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Don't worry about what's, there's no point. You go after what you want. So when you close your eyes and take your last breath, you're not sitting there saying, well, maybe if I'd have just tried, or maybe if I had to just put a little bit more work in, or maybe if I had to be scared to, you go wholeheartedly, 10 toes down towards what you want to do. So when you have your last breath, you can say, I did that. Yeah, I did that. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Narrated Black. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.